Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about logical operators and how to evaluate logical operators. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about bitwise operators and how to evaluate bitwise operators in detail. Okay, so let's get started. So before understanding bitwise operators, it is very necessary that you must understand few concepts like how to convert a number from decimal form to binary form, how to convert a number from binary form to decimal form, and what is two's complement method. So if you feel you have no idea about these concepts, then it is you know, highly recommendable that I want you to go and watch my video on basics of digital electronics in which I have clearly explained about one's complement method, two's complement method, how to convert a number from decimal form to binary form, how to convert a number from its binary form to decimal form and so on and so forth. Okay, so the link for that video is given in the description box below. So I want you to go and click on that link, go watch that video, and then come back and proceed with this lesson, right? So if you feel that you already know these concepts, then let's move on, okay? So what do you mean by bitwise operators? Bitwise operators are those operators which operate on the binary form of a given number. It means whenever you are using a bitwise operator on a given number, then you will have to first represent that number in the binary format before applying bitwise operation to it, okay? So bitwise operators are those operators which operate on the binary form of a given number. So having said that, in C language, there are six bitwise operators. They are bitwise left shift operator, bitwise right shift operator, bitwise AND operator, bitwise OR operator, bitwise XOR operator, and bitwise complement operator, okay? So let's discuss each of these operator one by one from the next slide, okay? Now, let's start with bitwise left shift operator. So as you can see on the screen, we have an expression which says nine left shift of two, right? So what does this expression say? This expression says that I will have to shift the bits of this number towards the left two times, okay? So as I told you earlier that whenever you are making use of a uh, bitwise operator on a number, then we will have to first represent that number in binary form before applying the bitwise operations, isn't it? So that is the reason I have represented nine in its binary form first. So I have used 16 bit binary format representation. Okay, so this is nine in binary form. That is zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one. So this is nine in binary form. So let's start applying left shift operator. So when you apply left shift operator once, then this zero will actually fall down, right? And this zero will take its position. That is this zero will come here. This zero will come here. This zero comes here this zero will take this position. Okay, this zero will come here. This will move towards the left. Again, this will start moving towards the left. Then this zero will come and occupy this position. This zero will move towards the left. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will take its position here. This one will come here, okay? And then the final uh, position, okay, which is empty position would be padded with a zero. Okay, so this is the result after shifting this bits of this number nine once. Okay, but our question is we will have to shift the bits of this number twice, isn't it? So let me shift this once again towards the left. Again, this most significant bit zero will fall down. In that case, this zero will again occupy the leftmost position. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. Okay, followed by zero, 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 zero. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, followed by a 0. The empty position would be padded with a 0. Therefore, after left shifting 9 by 2, this is my final answer. Okay, so if I convert this binary form again back to decimal, I will get the value as 36. Therefore, the answer for 9 left shift of 2 is 36. Okay, now let us go and see how this right shift operator works, right? Now, so we have uh, the expression nine right shift of two, okay? So again, as said earlier, whenever we are actually making use of bitwise operators, we have to represent those number in its binary format, isn't it? So this is the number represented in binary format using 16 bit binary format, 16 bit binary format, okay? So having said that, let me start moving the bits of this number nine towards the right, Two types okay so first time when i shift towards the right this one will fall down and this zero will occupy this position this zero will come here this one 
will come towards the right. The zero will come here, followed by zero, 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 zero. Again, zero, 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 zero. And the empty position would be padded with a zero. Okay, so this is the result with only one time shifting. So let, let me shift it twice because the question says that I will have to shift the bits of this number nine towards the right two times. Okay, so when I shift it once again for the second time, okay, again, this zero will fall down. Okay, this zero will come here. This one will come here. Okay, followed by zero, 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 followed by zero, 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 and the empty position will be padded with a zero. Therefore, if I right shift nine towards the right two times, so this will be my final answer. And when I convert this binary form into decimal, I will get the answer as two. Therefore, nine right shift by two will give me the result as two, right? So this is how your right shift operator will work. Okay, so right shift operator will move your bits towards the right you know, once or by the number of times that you have specified over here. Okay, similarly, left shift operator will shift the bits of the number, okay, towards the left, okay, by the number of times that you have actually specified over here. Okay, in our example, it is two in both the cases. Okay, now coming to the next example, we have bitwise AND operator. So to work with bitwise AND operator, it is important that you must memorize this truth table. You must understand this truth table. Okay, so bit zero, and with bit zero will give us the values, you know, zero, right? Again, so bit zero, bitwise and with bit one will give us the value as bit zero, okay? So similarly, one and with zero will give us the value as zero and one bitwise and with one will give us the value as one, right? So as I told you to make, whenever you're making use of a bitwise operator on numbers, we'll have to represent those numbers in binary format and only then we will be able to apply the bitwise operation. So that is the reason I have represented nine in binary and then I have represented two in binary and on these numbers, I will have to apply the bitwise and the operation, okay? So making use of the truth table, let me apply this, you know, uh, bitwise and operation to it, right? So one bitwise and with zero will result in, one bitwise and with zero will result in a zero value. Therefore, this is zero. Zero bitwise and with one. Zero bitwise and with one will result in a zero value, okay? So similarly, applying for the rest of the bits, okay? The answer becomes zero, 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 zero. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So when I convert this into decimal, I get the answer as zero. Therefore, when I actually bitwise uh, and nine and two, the result that I get is a value of zero. This is how your bitwise and operator will work, okay? And it is important that you will have to memorize this truth table so that you will be able to work on bitwise operators or you will be able to evaluate bitwise uh, operators and its expression faster. Right. So having said that, let us move on to the next operator, which says uh, nine, you know, uh, bitwise or with two. Okay. It is a bitwise or operator. Again, you have a truth table here to memorize for bitwise or operator. Okay. It says bit zero bitwise or operator with bit zero will result in a value of zero. Similarly, zero bitwise or with one will give us a value as one. One bitwise or with zero will give us a value as one and one bitwise or with one will give us a value as one, okay? So having said that, we will have to now apply the or operator, okay, to find the bitwise or of nine and two. So as you can see, I have represented nine in binary format, I have represented two in binary format and only then I will be able to apply the bitwise operation on it, okay? So let us now use the two table and start, you know, applying the or operator over here. So one or with zero. So one or with zero will result in one. Therefore, I will just write it as it is. I mean, I'll write one over here and zero or with one. Zero or with one will result in one. Therefore, I'll write a one over here. Okay, zero or with zero. Zero or with zero will result in zero. I'll write it as it is over here. Okay, and then uh, one or with zero. Again, one or with zero will result in one. Therefore, I write a one over here. Okay, and then continuing further in the same manner. Okay, it will result in zero, 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 zero. Okay, zero, 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 zero. Therefore, when I convert this binary form into decimal, I will get the answer as 11, okay? So therefore, when I say nine bitwise or with two, the result is equal to 11, right? This is 11 in decimal format, right? So now again, bitwise or operator needs a two table and it is needed that you will have to memorize this two table so that you can evaluate expressions that involves bitwise operators faster.
Okay, so having said that, let us move to the next operator, which is bitwise XOR operator. And the expression is 9XOR with 2. Again, it needs a truth table for you to memorize. Okay, so 0 bitwise XOR with 0 will give us a value of 0. 0 bitwise XOR with 1 will give us a value of 1. 1 XOR 0 will give you 1. 1 XOR with 1 will give you a value of 0. Okay, so um, using this truth table, let us apply uh, this on our example problem, which is 9 XOR with 2. I have represented 9 in binary format. I have represented 2 in binary format because I'm operating on a bitwise operator. Okay, then uh, 1 XOR with 0, 1 XOR with 0, comparing with the truth table will give me the value of 1. I will write it as it is. 0 XOR with 1. 0 XOR with 1 will give me a value of 1. So therefore, I'll write the 1 over here. 0 XOR with 0 will give me a 0. Okay, again, 1 XOR with 0 will give me a 1. And continuing further using this truth table, okay, I get the value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So when I convert this binary form into decimal form, it gives me the answer is 11 in decimal format. So the answer for 9 XOR with 2 in decimal form is 11. Okay. Now, so this is how your bitwise XOR operator works. Again, even this in to understand or to evaluate XOR operator faster, you have to memorize this truth table. Okay. So having said that, let us move on to the final operator in the set of bitwise operators that is bitwise complement operator. Okay, so bitwise complement operator is used to invert a given bit. It means if you encounter a bit of zero, then this complement operator will invert that to one. And if it encounters a bit one, that one would be inverted to zero. Okay, so uh, tilde of zero, right? So I has, as I told you that whenever you're making use of bitwise operators on a particular number, then that number has to be converted into its binary format. Therefore, zero in its binary format looks like this. It's all zeros. And when I apply a complement operator to this, okay, as said earlier, if it encounters a zero, it would be inverted to one. And as I find all our zeros, then everything would be inverted to one like this. Okay, so all zeros becomes ones. Okay, so all ones are nothing but minus one in two's complement method. Okay, so this is minus one into his complement method. So this is how your bitwise operators work. And now to cross verify our understanding, let us uh, just try out all these expressions on a dev C++ ID. So just to cross verify, let us understand that uh, bitwise left shift of two resulted in 36. Okay, please keep this in mind. Uh, 9 right shift of 2 resulted in 2, 9 and with 2 resulted in 0, 9 or with 2 resulted in a value of 11, 9 XOR of 2 again resulted in 11 and uh, you know a complement of 0 uh, will result in a value of minus 1. Okay, so let's uh, cross verify this using our dev C++ ID and see if we get the right answer. Okay, so as you can see over here, okay, so uh, uh, I have the same expressions in this program. So 9 left shift of 2, 9 right shift of 2, 9 and with 2, 9 or with 2, okay, 9 XOR with 2 and complement of 0, right? So, and I'm saving the answer for all these expressions in the, in the variables A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So if I try to print this uh, output, so I must, I must be able to get the same result as we got when we did it manually, okay? So let me first compile this program. Okay, as when I compile this program, there are no errors and no warnings. It means that, you know, the syntax is absolutely right. Now we are good to go. And when I run this program, okay, let us wait for the output. <laughs> the output says 36, 2, 0, 11, 11, and minus 1. Yes. So we have got our right output. It means our evaluation uh, of bitwise operators and our understanding of bitwise operators are absolutely right. Correct. So having said that, okay, so uh, in the upcoming lesson, I would be teaching you about uh, the different forms of assignment operators. Okay, so by this, we have come to the end of this lesson. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you really like this lesson, then don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, you know click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming updates on my lessons on my uh, programming series. Okay, so having said that, uh, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.